friends, welcome to my channel. Erica Tesla here. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new to my channel, thank you for deciding to click on this video. And today we are going to be talking about the Adept Cosmetics Flying Fiddles palette. This is the newest addition to the Adept Cosmetics family. Not sure what's going on with my focus. This is the neutral palette that Adept Cosmetics has apparently been getting a lot of requests for and I have to say this is a really really lovely take on neutral colors. You have some really great mid and deep tone mattes here to ground your look and we've got beautiful multi-chrome so I'm going to read a little bit off of the website about the palette itself. So this is named after the Siberian Iris and is described as having a muted, grungy twist. There are four mattes, so this is very, very shimmer heavy. Four mattes, one multi-chrome, four shimmery duochromes, and six shimmers. So she's very shiny, but I love shiny, so this is not a problem for me. And I think for if you're looking for more matte shades, you probably already have plenty in your collection. Adept Cosmetics definitely is a very shimmer heavy brand, but that's what I personally love about the brand is the shimmers. I can find mattes in just about any format, any brand, and I love that I can bring the Adept shades into a look and have fun with them. The marble shade has slight differences from palette to palette, so that is referencing the shade Scorpion Grass which is right smack dab in the middle of the palette. As you can see, I pressed in here without trying to smear it too much. And this is a glitter-free palette, which is really important, and I think I'm really happy about that part. Let me add the price of this palette. It does retail for $62. I have a code with Adept Cosmetics. It is affiliated. You get 10% off. I do earn a small commission if you decide to use my code. If you prefer to not use a code or you want to use another influencer's code, I really recommend that you do that so you can at least save some money. It'll at least cut down on the shipping costs. For this video, I wanted to show you guys some swatches. I'm going to pop some swatches in here that I did using my stencil that I actually made and then I'm going to show you how I came up with this look and then we're going to talk about final thoughts on the first impressions. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm going to talk about my final thoughts of my first impressions of this palette and this collection. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys some swatches and then we're going to transition to the look. swatches. I would love to hear what you think about these shades. I'm going to go ahead and transition into the tutorial for this look. What I want to do, okay, so for this look I really want to go with the blue shades because I've been doing a lot of pink and neutral shades but I want to get into some of the blue and actually what I will do is before that I'm going to get into this crease with the shade Tan Toffee Rose which looks like a mauve color on camera. And I'm going to, okay, let me look at my mirror. I'm gonna tap that into the crease. I'm gonna start a little higher here. And this brush is the Singe E02 brush. I've been reaching for these a lot. I've been so tempted to pick up some backups of these because they're just really easy to use and easy to find with these yellow handles. I really like these brushes. So I'm just blending that into the crease. There is a vision here and we're going to see if we can execute that. We're going to see if we can make this happen because, I, you know, I, I know my last video was about Valentine's Day palettes, Valentine's Day palettes, 
and I really focused a lot on the pinky romantic tones and I do plan to do more looks with those shades but I really looked at the colors in here and this color is called and tan toffee rose but I'm really intrigued by the green Kelly shade which I'm gonna use next so that's going on really nicely I I'm enjoying this matte formula it's applying really nicely and then I'm going to go in let's see I want to take the e04 brush it's a little smaller than the e02 I'm gonna come back to this one but I'm gonna start dipping into green Kelly which is this shade here it's it's interesting. It's 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 a matte. It's, this is not a multi-chrome, but it you know looks a little green. It looks a little blue. It's got a teal vibe to it. And as you can see, I have. I don't, it's not really hooded, but you see this crease here. I used to not have that be so pronounced. So what I'm gonna do is tap the green Kelly shade on here, and you can see like my crease coming. I'm gonna like put the color in here. We're gonna dab that in there and really get that in the crease of my eye. I like this brush, it's giving me the control that I want and we're just dabbing that in here. And I will blend, but I like to tap the color in. I have creases, folds, all that fun stuff that happens when your eyelids aren't 21 anymore. Or even if you are 21, like everyone's so different, right? I can't even say that because everyone has different skin and eye shapes and textures and all that fun stuff. So I'm just getting that in there. And you can see now I've managed to mostly fill in these little gaps and you'll see that I'm going to do it on the other side too. It's, this looks crazy right now, but this is definitely a trust the process type of moment. And I'm keeping this color a little bit it doesn't look like it, but a little bit controlled. Like I'm not trying to have it spread out too much, but I am going to blend. But you can see like I, I'm getting it in these creases and crevices. That is a really pretty shade. It is one that I think because it's a deeper color and because we're talking about textured skin, this is going to require some finessing on my part and just working that into the skin. I find that I really love colorful eyeshadow, but it is a little bit of a challenge when you have eyelid texture, trying to make it work in a way that's still flattering. So I'm going back in with the EO2 brush, guys, and I'm blending out Tan Toffee Rose into the Green Kelly shade and just softening this, this look up. And these are blending together really nicely. Okay, so I have dabbed a little bit more of the green kelly into the crease guys i'm just blending color out and trying to soften and then what i want to do what i want to do i want to go in this is the shade that i'm really interested in it's this blue crown that looks so pretty so i want to put this all over the lid it has this shift little blue brown shift Tap that on the lid with the ring finger. And I will build this shade up on the lid and I'm gonna go back in and kind of around this area, do a more precise application with a brush. But usually it is recommended with adept shimmers to apply with the finger. And I'm going to take this shader brush. This is from Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the A505. And I'm going to put a more, a little bit more precise application around the crease of this shimmer shade. It's letting me build it up really nicely, actually. And I'm going to get over here and blend. There's a little bit of fallout, but I'm not too worried about that. That's not an unusual thing when you're dealing with multi-chromes. That's a really neat color. I'm taking a pencil brush. This is an Esam S31. I had to check the numbers on there. And I'm just going to take the green Kelly shade on the bottom lid and blend this out. 
I'm really happy with how this brush is blending the shade out and I have even more little crevices under the eye but this is doing a really nice job with the color placement and I am going to do the same on this side okay and I'm a sucker for an inner corner highlight so I'm gonna take one of my other small brush let's see let's find oh got another small pencil brush this is the E30 and this is the trickiest part because there's so many pretty shades in here but I think I'm gonna go in with honey spurge and go in on the inner corner oh that's pretty that's really pretty yeah this is this is really nice it's just brightening up that inner corner for me and I'm just not even having too much effort to build this up I'm gonna go in and do the same thing on this side so far so good but really what's gonna make this look is some liner and some lashes and I'm gonna apply that off camera and I will be back here we have the finished look my friends I will add that I did include a liner I did a little bit of sea sparkle from Kaleido Caesar their multi-chrome eyeliners and I used a little bit of this in the waterline I thought I didn't want to just do like a basic black liner which is kind of my default I thought this would look really pretty and I like how it both adds a little shimmer and shine and brightens the waterline area and I recently picked up a new Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I picked up a couple actually, but the one that I'm thinking is going to look really nice with this look is the shade 90s Pink. And I think it's like the perfect mid-tone shade for this look and it really pulls in the mauviness of the crease color. So we'll see how it looks on the actual lips. And I'm just, I'm not even going in with a lip liner guys. This is... A fresh lipstick. I love this color. Funny story. I was at Sephora with my younger son and these lipsticks had just come out and I asked him which colors were his favorite and they had the pinks and the reds and he knows how much I love pink so he this was accredited to him. He really liked this color on me. Uh, He's so good at joining me on my little excursions. He's very patient with me. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. So I like that with this look. You know what I've been loving, guys? I'm going to go in for blush with my Danessa Myrick. This is just like a BH Cosmetics brush, but this is the Rosé and Brunch Yummy Skin Blush. I have been really, if you can see, I've been really reaching for this shade. It just, look at that. I've been loving seeing Danessa everywhere. It's really pigmented, like on the camera. In person, this is a lot. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but I'm gonna have to subdue this a little bit with some foundation, but I love this blush so much and it really lasts all day. Like, look at that. It just gives you this really nice flush. So if you're medium to a lighter skin tone, this is such a great everyday wearable color. If you're deeper than me, you can build it up. If you are lighter than me, you just go in with a gentle hand. I really enjoy this formula. And I keep looking at my monitor. You guys are gonna get sick of me. Like, why should, this looks really pretty in person. I really like how this look came out. This is such a beautiful wearable multi-chrome palette. Really, really fun. I'm really happy with how the mattes played with each other while I was creating this look. As you know, I do have to take a little bit of time to build and blend the deeper colors, but with the help of my brushes, I was able to achieve a look that I'm pretty satisfied with. This is just a really, really fun take on neutrals. I mean, it's still colorful, but these are still really rich colors. I would say particularly for me, someone with my skin tone, I'm really happy to see these deeper yet more colorful matte shades. I'm really excited to try Daylily in a look and Sahara at some point, but I really love how Green Kelly worked in my crease. So if you're like medium to deep skin, absolutely gorgeous. Tan Toffee Rose was just the perfect shade for me to diffuse the Green Kelly shade and the shimmers in here. I'm telling you guys, like they're, they're really, really stunning. So I'm really, 
really happy with this palette. I love the packaging. Let's let's talk about the packaging. It kind of reminds me of the Kaleidos blushes a little bit. Like here's one as an example. This has butterflies, but you see this romantic packaging. It's actually kind of sexy, if I can say that. And I think it matches the vibe of the palette where it's like sultry grunge. I think I like that phrase. It's like sultry grunge, but you can obviously do a one and done look. You can combine your shimmers. You have a lot of options with this palette. So I'm really excited for this one. And I'm so grateful to Adept Cosmetics for giving me a code to save you some money. I did purchase this one myself. I did purchase this happily, but if you use my code, you can save 10% on this palette. And it is currently available on the website. Adept quality has continued to blow me away. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more looks with this palette. Really stunning. I think Sultry Grunge is a really apt description for this because there's still an element of sophistication that you can achieve with this palette. It's really, really easy to go a little bit more subtle with this or do something like I did like a little bit more bold. But yeah, I really, I gotta stop looking at myself. It, the camera's not even doing it justice. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to like this video and leave me a comment. Say hello. Let me know what you think about this palette. Is this one that you are thinking about picking up? Do you have this one already? What's your favorite Adept Cosmetics palette if you've tried the brand? Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.